Hey guys, Clay from Badger Security and Survival. Today we're going to be talking about situational awareness and how it affects you and your team. Let's get started. Alright, well let's jump into it here. First I want to talk about the definitions of, of what situational awareness is. There's a technical aspect and there's a practical aspect. Technical will be what you'd read in a textbook and practical will be how you'd actually utilize it day to day. The way I see it is there's two phases, okay? There's, there's the recon phase and there's the application phase. The recon phase is basically just you gathering information in your surroundings. You know, you hear cars on the road, do you hear birds or do you hear animals rustling in the brush? Do you hear somebody stomping through the woods? All of those things that you use your senses for, those are gonna be the recon aspect. Now the application obviously, by the definition of application, is how you apply those things. If you want to use that sound you heard off in the jungle, or you smelled something farther down the road, a deodorant or perfume or whatever, obviously animals don't smell like, you know, Old Spice. <laughs> They're gonna, it's gonna be someone. Uh, the, way, the way that you would push those things and how you apply yourself away from the, your natural environment of day-to-day -day life. That's what situational awareness is to me. Alright guys, next thing I want to talk about is how to attain a sharp mind. Now, first of all, everybody has animalistic senses. It's those five senses that you hear about all the time. What you see, what you hear, what you taste, what you feel, and what you smell. Everybody has those. Well, some people don't, but most, most people have those five senses. And they're as acute as anybody else's. Now, how you apply those things and the information you receive from those senses is different. How I would apply those senses and how the average person will apply those senses are going to be completely different. All right, next thing I want to talk about are what we call mental dry runs. Some people call them what-if scenarios. Whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. Those mental dry runs that you get in your mind are what's going to help you attain a sharp mind. Now, a perfect example of that would be when you were in school, your elementary school, middle school, high school, whatever, and you didn't want to listen to what the teacher was saying, and they were talking about history or math or whatever, you were sitting there thinking, well, if a guy came into my classroom right now and said, I'm taking this classroom hostage, what are you going to do? You're thinking, oh, okay, well, I'm going to run out the back door, or I'm going to jump through this window, or I'm going to grab the scissors out of my bag and use them. That's what a mental dry run is. Obviously, hopefully you have a little bit better plan than grab scissors out of your bag in day-to-day -day life as an adult. But that aspect of it, that taking those, those small inputs that you get and planning for scenarios, that's what situational awareness is. That's what it is. Now, how you apply those skills and how you gain those skills are totally, totally what we want to be working on. Okay? Applying the, the skills and the, uh, if I cross this street right now and there's a car coming, obviously you're not going to cross in front of the car. Th those types of practical applications are what you're going to be wanting to try to regain and farm. Alright guys, next thing I want to talk about are the factors that go into the situational awareness. Now, there's the environment, there's the dangers that are in that environment, and any possible intoxicants that might be involved in that. Now, in the environment, there's going to be uh, terrain, there's going to be trees, there's going to be the weather, all of those things are factors in environmental issues. Now, terrain is huge. Are you going through a city? Are you going through a valley? Are you hiking through plains? How you analyze the things around you in those areas are going to be completely different. In close quarters in an urban area, uh, you got windows, you got different floors, you got houses that potentially may or may not have people in them. Now, if you're farther out in the plains like we are here in North Dakota, where you can see 30 miles in every direction, you, you probably don't have to worry about too much of that stuff right off the bat. You're going to see stuff coming at you from a long, long ways away. But those dangers in those environments, like we were talking about in the urban environment, the dangers in a 16-story building versus the plains in North Dakota is exponentially worse. There's all kinds of windows, doors, exits, entrances, vehicle paths, foot traffic that you have to worry about. 
Now, when we talk about intoxicants, intoxicants are huge. I like beer just as much as the next guy. But I can tell you right now that it will curb your ability in that recognizance phase. What you gather while you are intoxicated is gonna be completely different than what you'd gather when you haven't been drinking or you haven't been uh, smoking or you have prescriptions that take you out into the next world because it's something that your doctor gave you. Now, I've seen people that talk and talk and talk and talk about things that don't exist while on prescription medications. If you have those prescriptions, you probably shouldn't be running point with your team and you probably shouldn't be on the lookout. You'd be seeing unicorns and rainbows that don't exist. Um, one of the biggest things that I don't think is talked about enough is adrenaline. Adrenaline is an intoxicant. It does affect how you gather things. Tunnel vision, things like that, that's all adrenaline. Now, those intoxicants you want to stay away from as much as you can in a survival situation. Okay, just to just sum everything up here. Your body will go where your mind has been. What you practice in your mind, those mental dry runs we were talking about, what you practice on a daily basis, mentally, physically, that's what you're going to do in a stressful situation. Everybody knows that, it's it, muscle memory, there's many different names for it. But that's what's gonna happen, your body will go where your mind has been. All right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below if you have any suggestions for this video or future videos. Make sure to check out our website, badgersns.com. And until next time, make yourself ready.